everyone, it's your girl T Shows, and the sky is blue. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a tag video, the scariest thing tag. I came across it online and I was like, wow, this is like truly something that I'd like to do. Two of the questions I weren't really fond of, it's only like six questions. It's seven questions. And two of the questions I'm not really fond of, so I might take them out. I'm probably going to take one of them out. So, yeah. So, the scariest thing tied. So, the first question is, this is my scariest real life experience. My scariest real life experience would have to be my car accident that happened last year, February 1st. I was leaving a Super Bowl game and I got into an accident on this curb road. It's called Montague and the road's pretty dangerous and yes don't really know what happened all i know is that i lost control of the wheel and so that i could what i thought was the right thing at the time i pulled the wheel and it was in and then andrea and his cousin were in the car with me and after that i don't know maybe i blacked out maybe i just closed my eyes and shut everything out but i can't tell you what happened all i know is that when I was up, Andre was coming out of the, getting out of the car to open my door to see if I was okay. And my car was reversed up on the sidewalk in a business's yard. So yeah, can't really tell you what happened, but it was really scary. I had to buy four new tires, yes. Um, the side wheel of my car is still damaged. I had to get some wheel alignment, I had to get some bearings redone, get brakes, yeah, it was pretty scary. Might not be the scariest thing to ever happen in the world, but it was one of my scariest real life, it was my scariest real life experience, so that's what the question asks. So question number two is, my scariest paranormal experience, my scariest paranormal experience would have to be, I don't know, it's between two. It would have to be between the time, no I lie, it's one. When we first moved into the house, this house that we're living in now, I think we've been here about seven, eight years now, and I think this was in like year one or year two. And one night, I was going into the kitchen to get some water, and I just the hallway light was on. And so I decided, okay, I don't need to turn on the kitchen light because the hallway light is on, and when I open the fridge, there's gonna be light, so I don't need to turn on the light. And I don't know why I was why I ended up looking out of the window. Maybe it was because I was going to get a cup. Maybe it was because I was renting out a cup that I was already using and I just wanted to rinse it out. But I was like, there's a window in front of the zinc. And I looked out of the window and there was this lady standing in all white. She had on like a veil on her head. It wasn't over her face, it was just on her head. And she just had on all white and she was just standing there staring at me. And like they say, when adrenaline hits you, either fight or flight, and I ran the hell out of there. Actually, I did not run. I crawled. I dropped down to my knees, and I crawled to my grandmother's room, and I was crying, and I was screaming, and she was like, what's going on with you? And I was like, I just saw a ghost, and she was like, you serious? And then she laughed. She didn't laugh because she didn't believe that I saw a ghost, because she believed that I saw a ghost. She laughed because I was so afraid which I really couldn't comprehend or understand, but yes. So question number three, have you ever known anyone convicted of a violent crime? No, I have, I do not know anyone convicted of a violent crime. I've never known anyone convicted of a violent crime, and I'd like to keep it that way. Are you afraid of the dark? Why and why not? I'm not going to say that I'm not afraid of the dark, but I'm not going to say that I am afraid of the dark. I could lay in the dark and be okay because, you know, I'm protected by the blood of the lamb, but if I'm laying in the dark and I hear a funny sound, then that's when the problem arises. We have a problem. Does your hometown have any scary stories or legends? The Bahamian culture and the Bahamian stories, I think all of them are scary. Like, I can't remember off my head which story that I've been told is not scary. So yes, there are lots of scary stories. 
what's my favorite urban legend i don't have a favorite urban legend this is the question that i decided that i'm not going to answer so yes i don't have a favorite urban legend and right now i can't remember any urban legends off the top of my head to tell you so that's gonna be that what is your scariest nightmare my scariest nightmare i feel like lots of people have these because I read upon it because it was something that I was seriously going through and from like through high in high school a lot through high school maybe it started in grade nine up to like my second up to my third maybe up to like my third year in college I had these dreams where I'd be falling and they were like so consistent especially in high school they were like almost every night and I'd be falling out of this tree that's like sky high like airplane sky high and i'd be falling and i'm just falling and i'm just falling and i'm just falling and i'm just falling and some nights i wake up crying some nights i wake up fighting the air because i'm trying to climb back up i guess just you know afraid and some nights i just once a few times i dropped and the reason i read upon it is because i really wanted to know why i had these dreams so much never really came to the conclusion i mean i could understand some things that could have contributed to me having the dreams but yes those dreams were like they were my worst nightmares honestly like they really haunted me for a very long period of time in my life and i'm glad to say that i haven't had any of those in a very long time yes i've been free of those for a long time for maybe not a long time but maybe like a year and a half now i've been free of those so yes but that's it for today's video announcement i have an announcement the announcement i have is that i'm going to change my video day upload day from sundays to mondays because it's just gonna fit easier with my schedule and i think i'm gonna be more loyal to that and more committed to monday uploading than to the sunday uploading that i have not been committed to for a very long time so yes i'm changing my upload day to monday for everyone Damn. upload day is now changing to monday which is today yes but that's it for this video those are all the scariest moments that i've experienced in my entire life so far because i have a long life to live i pray that i live to see many 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 more years but for now if you want to follow me on instagram twitter and then snapchat all the links for those are in the description box below and subscribe to this channel thumbs it up share it with whoever you want to share it with and don't forget to subscribe which i said already i must have amnesia but for now it should go t-shirts and peace i'm out not know until you watch my next video and you realize that I